Hello and welcome to 3dparadise.com In this tutorial I'll show you how to make a nice uh, wireframe render so you can show your guys at work or friends the wireframe of your, of your models so I'll start with making a teapot just like this so we can see it there and I'll just show a quick render and you see there's no wireframe can't see the edges so now we are going to show method number one. I'm going to click M and go into my material editor. I'm just going to use a free slot here and reset this. And then I'm going to apply it to my model. I'm going to change the diffuse to white. This is uh, the color your wireframe is going to be. And I'm gonna make wire. You can choose a uh, two-sided if you want. Then it will show the wires on the back side of this teapot. But I'm gonna leave that off. Then I'm gonna go into rendering and environment. And here I'm, I'm gonna leave the background as black. But if um, you now choose black wireframe colors, you may want to change this to white instead. But uh, we'll leave it black. Then we can do a render. And you see, we got a wireframe. But as you can see, you can't see any model uh, here. You can see the wireframe, but you can't see the textures of it. Um, so we are gonna show a method for that as well. So I'm gonna remove this material here. Reset. Give it a standard one again. This time I'm gonna make this teapot a little darkish. Yeah, a little more like that and then I'm gonna make a little more wider material like this so we can see it this one is gonna be our wires now so I'm gonna close this and then I'm gonna go into the modifier and I'm gonna apply a lattice modifier to my model like this and you can see it this looks really weird <coughs> and uh, that's because the radius of the struts is too big and we want to set the struts only from edges so click this and then we reduce the size of the edges <coughs> to something like this and here we're gonna apply the white material this and I'm gonna use the move tool and make a clone of my object like that. I'm gonna delete the matrix. You can also do this first. Probably better to just clone it first. We have two, um, but doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna make this T-bot fit completely with this one. So I'm gonna use the align tool and click the all T-bot. And I'm gonna choose all positions, pivot, pivot, and okay. Now I'm gonna apply the darker material to the clone we made like this so you can, you can already see that there's wires here uh, and then we just render and you can see now we got wires on top of a textured model and we can change the texture now as we want we can give it some car paint here like this and render and you see we still got the wireframe on top of it. So this is uh, useful for showing off your models uh, as many people want to see wires uh, so they can judge or give critics or feedback to your model. So I hope you can use it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.